Praise God and welcome to another episode of Rhapsody of Reality Review. My name is Faith Tonella. And I'm Benny. And today is Monday, September the 19th by our man of God, Pastor Chris. The title is His Sanctified Presence. Now the opening scripture is taken from Romans chapter 15, verses 15 to 16 and it reads, Nevertheless, brethren, I have written the more boldly unto you in some sort, as putting you in mind, because of the grace that is given to me of God, that I should be the minister of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles, ministering the gospel of God, that the offering up of the Gentiles might be acceptable, being sanctified by the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Hallelujah. The sanctifying presence. Today, our man of God, Pastor Chris, lets us know that the Holy Spirit sanctifies us is, is our sanctifying presence the holy spirit sanctifies us and makes us a presentable unto god yeah. now in today's subsidy a man of god gives example of people who say they don't think the the of the right mm-hmm. standards yeah they don't think that they're the right standards to receive the holy ghost and what god is saying about that is that's not right that's not correct because we are all of the right standards to receive the holy ghost we are here to be to receive the Holy Ghost. We're here to use the Holy Ghost to do the right things because God's plan for us to have the Holy Ghost because He's a helper. You know, when God prayed, when Jesus prayed unto God before He left Earth, mm-hmm. for God to send someone to be our Comforter, God sent yes. the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Now, what a man of God is letting us know today is that when we when we're praying unto God, when we're speaking unto God, we can only speak to Him if we have the Holy Ghost. We can only speak to Him correctly if we have the Holy Ghost because if we just pray unto Him with our normal understanding, it will not be of the, of, to the right standard. Like you said here, our human language are too impure for God. They contain words we use for everyday dealings and communication. They are too mundane and impure for the Holy God. Praise God. And you know, as you said, you have to communicate with a holy language you know and the only language that we know is tongues obviously and it is impossible for us to please god if we don't have the holy spirit so for those people that say oh i'm unworthy of that you have to come to realization that wait wait a second without the holy spirit there is no way that i can please god simply because let's take an example pastor chris talked about how jesus when he when he offered himself as a sacrifice for our sins and he presented himself in front of the father he had to do so through the holy spirit because it was the holy spirit that sanctified him so how much more for us now today when we want to present ourselves in front of the father we have to do so via the holy spirit now that is why the the holy spirit was given to us when christ ascended into heaven he was given us us as another comforter as Benny said so without him we can't just present ourselves in front of the father any way we want we have to do so via the Holy Spirit that is true you know in today's rhapsody a man of God speaks about this furthermore he says to us that it's imperative for us to receive the Holy Spirit and be yielded to the influence and guidance of the Holy Spirit at all times and he goes his presence upon you purifies you it makes you perfect you know it cleanses out every imperfection therefore perfecting you as the bible said before and it helps you so that everything you do for the lord will be perfect you know this is letting us know that with the holy spirit we are perfected because the holy spirit is there to guide us and enable us to do the right thing according to the to the thinking of god because the holy spirit is more or less god but in us to comfort and enable us to do the right thing yeah, because the Holy Spirit, after all, He makes us, He presents us as righteous in front of the Father. Yes. So that is why it's important. As we always talk about how it's important that we train ourselves to the Holy Spirit, how we have to yield ourselves to the Holy Spirit. I mean, the Holy Spirit is a vital being in our lives, and we have to acknowledge that. We have to pay, we have to pay attention to that. That we can't, we are nothing without the Holy Spirit. We can't do anything without the Holy Spirit. And that is why we are advising you today. Get your copy of Rhapsody of Reality. The Holy Spirit is packed in this, praise God. The words of the Spirit on here. And it will fill you, it will build you, it will strengthen you in whatever you go through. Just visit www.rhapsodyofreality.org or go to www.christmc.org for further information. As for now, have a great week and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.